Necromancy Rune Crafting is easy to access and doesn't require you to risk anything, but is it any good? Let's find out, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Necro rune crafting involves crafting spirit, bone, flesh, and miasma runes using a special type of essence called impure essence, obtained from rituals or bought off the Grand Exchange. Before you can start necro rune crafting, you will need to have completed the Rumythos quest, which requires level 24 necromancy. Additionally, I recommend you complete the City of Arm Easy Achievement set, which takes no more than 10 minutes, as you're able to gain access to an item called the Tome of Arm 1. This tome provides extra runes per impure essence and unlimited teleports to a nearby bank. At level 50 Necromancy, you can improve this tome by upgrading it to the second tier by completing the medium achievement set. Rune crafting isn't complex and thus the setup is straightforward. Try to bring as many impure essence as you can per trip to improve both XP and GP per hour. If using no boost, you can bring a total of 28 impure essence, and if you're using all boosts available, you can bring a total of 102 impure essence per trip and a single power burst of sorcery potion. You can bring more impure essence thanks to the runecrafting pouches, which can be obtained by speaking to Wizard Korvac in the runecrafting guild at the top of the wizard's tower. This requires level 50 runecrafting to access. He will give you your medium pouch, but you will need to buy the large and giant pouches from him for a certain amount of coins. The small rune crafting pouch has to be reclaimed from the dark mage inside the abyss if lost. Alternatively, you can kill abyssal creatures for all rune crafting pouches leading up to the giant pouch. Finally, the massive pouch can only be bought for 1000 rune spam points. It's worth noting that if you do not have the pouch protector relic power, which requires level 36 archaeology, you're going to need to repair your pouches every now and then as they degrade at the Dark Mage inside of the Abyss. And by far the most important details that you need to configure your runecrafting pouches to prefer impure essence, otherwise you will fill them using pure essence instead. Two other ways of bringing more impure essence are Abyssal Familiars at level 54, 62 and 93 summoning and the Ethereal Outfits of which the Infinity one is the best. Based on what you have access to, I suggest creating a bank preset so that you can quickly restock and bank every single trip. If you're using Abyssal familiars, do not forget to take off the summoning icon in the bank preset, in addition to saving its inventory filled with impure essence separately. Necarune crafting takes place within the dark portal located in the city of Um. As of recording this video, there are two ways of getting there quickly. One is using the city of Um teleport spell and using the ferry to the dark portal and then running there. You can unlock the ferry by simply talking to this NPC, by the way. The best way of getting there, though, is by using the Tome of Um Teleport to the Um Smithy and then running towards the Dark Portal. The benefit of the Tome of Um is that you're able to bank where you teleport to before running back to the portal, unlike the Ritual Site, which currently does not have its own bank. Speaking of banking, here's how you bank quickly. Assuming you've already set up your preset, drag and drop the small, medium, and large pouches on your action bar in slots 1, 2, and 3. Next, summon your Abyssal Familiar and drag the Take B.O.B. option onto slot number 4. If owned, place the Ethereal Outfit body on slot number 5. Finally, place your Tome of Um somewhere in your action bar and then key bind it to a key you'd like to use to teleport. Every time you do a runecrafting run, all you're going to want to do is teleport back to the Um Smithy using the key that you've bound to your Tome of Um, then click your bank, right click and fill your giant and massive pouches, Load your preset once, tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then click on the bank and load your preset again, and you will have 102 impure essence to roll with. For players that don't have the outfit and only have, let's say, the small, medium, and large pouch, simply load your preset, press 1, 2, 3, then load your preset again and start running. Now, players that are looking for the most casual way of runecrafting, go to your settings and choose the camera mode called Freedom Classic. The way you're going to be doing runecrafting is by zooming out completely and clicking the portal from the um smithy and literally just letting your character walk there. Crafting the runes, and then teleporting back to the smithy using your tome and repeating the process. A run will take you a little over 46 seconds, so you'll be doing about 77 runs per hour in optimal lazy conditions. You can speed up this run significantly by just using the surge ability at least once up these stairs and or using the dive ability towards the dark portal once you're about here. Players that are looking for fast runecrafting runs can do runs in around 30 to 35 seconds by properly using the surge and dive abilities correctly. It's recommended to have double surge and the mobile invention perk on an item you have equipped, like an Excalibur. 
Surge along this wall and dive in the same tick by pressing dive right after tapping your surge and aiming with your mouse. Then surge up the stairs and head towards the dark portal. Once inside the portal, use either surge or bladed dive towards your altar and craft your runes. Note that the dive or surge abilities will not be off cooldown unless you're using that mobile invention perk. On screen now are the base experience rates you can expect by using both the lazy and fast Necker rune crafting runs. I'm sure you understand that some of the level for Miasma runes wouldn't be using 28 Impurescence and instead at least 43 because they have access to 3 rune crafting pouches. Now I wouldn't say that these XP rates are per se meta, although at the mid levels they may be pretty good, but at the high levels you're probably better off doing the Soul Alter for experience, which is also very AFK. But because the money is so good currently, I would probably do this over Bizarune Crafting until you reach those higher levels. The amount of money you can make by doing Necromancy Rune Crafting per hour will always depend on the sell price of runes, your rune crafting level because of the multiplier, and the cost of buying Impurescence. If you're watching this video in the future, be sure to calculate your own profit per Impurescence to make sure you're doing the most profitable rune you can at your level. Calculating your profit per hour after having checked the net profit per Impurescence is simple. You make money based on how many runs you can do per hour and how much pure essence you can bring along every single trip. You times this by the net profit you make per impure essence and that's your profit per hour. Based on today's prices, bone runes are the best to craft at level 99 rune crafting and will make you at least 45 million GP per hour, not including the use of a power burst of sorcery, an item that you'll be able to use to increase profit per hour by around 25% as you'll be able to use Use it to double your rune multiplier, giving you double runes every three to four runs. In conclusion, Necro Rune Crafting is amazing money, carries little risk, and is good experience, albeit not the best experience in the game for rune crafting. We shouldn't forget that the Soul Altar and Protein Essence exist for rune crafting training, with the latter being extremely good during double XP events. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can become a channel member by choosing the join option down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.